This is the third video that goes with Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. This chapter is about drawing an interior outline of your space, basically drafting in 2D in SketchUp. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw the entire outline of, um, of the little sample building we use in Chapter 4 in Google SketchUp for Dummies. First thing I need to do here, though, is switch into a 2D overhead, no perspective view, just like I did a couple videos ago. But let's go through it again, just in case. I'm going to select Bryce and delete him. Then I'm going to go to Camera, Standard, and Top to be in a top view. I'm going to go to Camera and switch from Perspective to Parallel Projection, just like that. Okay, we didn't see the difference there, but basically we turned off Perspective and went into Parallel. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to draft in SketchUp. I'm going to get the Line tool. looks like a pencil. And the first line I want to draw is 17 feet long. So the way I like to draft is to, to draw a line and then type in the dimension. You can type in dimensions after your first click, but I find it's easier to click and then click again to finish a line and then type. I'm going to type 1, 7, an apostrophe for feet, and hit enter. And you'll see that that line self-corrected and made itself 17 feet long. The next edge I want to draw comes over this way, 11 feet 10 inches. So let's just go ahead and draw that line, making sure that it was parallel to the red axis, and type in 11 apostrophe 10 and enter. So you kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. I'm going to go through the whole exercise because I think it might be useful for some people. But if you don't want to see the whole plan drawn, you can probably stop watching the video right now. I'm going to draw up in this direction, 4 feet 4 inches, just like that. Enter. Let's come out this way. Uh, let's see, what is my dimension? 1 foot 10 and 3 quarter inches. Okay, that's an interesting one, right? How do I do 3 quarters of an inch with this little funny SketchUp notation? Well, 1 apostrophe 10.75 is 1 foot 10 and 3 quarter inches. And not altogether obvious, but if you think about it, you can figure it out. Let's hit Enter, just like that. And the next line is 4 foot 2. Come up this way, 4 foot 2, enter. Come over this way, 13 feet. Click, 1, 3, apostrophe, enter. Now, I went to the trouble of going around and measuring this building. The reason I'm able to do this so quickly is because I spent three hours measuring the space. If you were trying to draw and sketch up while you were measuring the space, this would be going a lot slower. But I've got this convenient little hand-drawn sketch with all the dimensions on it for me. So it's easy once I get to sketch up now. I can just go ahead and, and draw, and I don't have to worry about how big these things are. Uh, the next one is 31 feet 4 and a quarter inches. 31 apostrophe 4.25 will give me 4 and a quarter. Enter, just like that. Let's go over, I need to go 10 feet, 11 and a quarter inch. So 10 feet, 11.25, and enter, just like that. Let's go up 12 feet, 2 and a quarter inches, 1, 2, apostrophe, 2.25, and enter. Let's go over 3 feet this way, enter and we'll come down. You know what? It doesn't matter how far we come down because I know exactly what I need to do right now. I know that this line, there's a straight wall that comes across here. Um, so I'm just going to kind of draw this line as long as that is. And so to do that, I'm just going to hover over the endpoint so SketchUp gives me a little inference. And then I'm going to bring it back so I see the line uh, turns green, which means I'm parallel to the green axis. And I've got that little red linear inference that tells me I'm lined up with the end of this line. I'm going to click and click over there, and what I've got now is a face that basically is the inside of my house. So this is the inside surface of the floor of my house. And um, it's really as simple as that. The key to all of this is going around and taking very accurate measurements before you even start. That'll make the time that you spend in SketchUp a whole lot more productive, and it'll lead to a lot less hair pulling and, um, and uh, you know, headaches. 